Hey, I'm Scotty, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sketch this boat right here with all the ropes and all the details with a really loose ink and watercolor sketching technique. Okay, so to start this sketch, we're going to use some dots to lay out the structure so it fits on the page. So we're coming about a third of the page across and about a third of the page up. So that's approximately just about there, and we'll put a dot. And then we come across, straight across, so we don't go any higher, and we'll put a dot there, about the same height as that dot, and that is the length of the boat from these two points. So I show on the reference. Now what we want to do is link those two lines up, but not straight. We want to give it a nice bend. Come across in between the lines to about three quarters of the way across, and then down a bit. So put a dot just down a bit like there. Okay, now we're going to draw the back of the boat, which is almost straight across, but up a little bit. So it has a bit of an angle up this way. Okay, so put about a, a dot about there, and let's draw this line here. And then we can see this end section here. So let's draw that bit like this. Sharply goes in again to where the water is. So we'll add a little bit like this. Now on this side, we're about doubling that distance. So that distance there, but then we come down again and in a little bit there. So just curving it down like this. So I'm, I'm looking, half looking at that point up there so I hope that shape, that's a very tricky shape to get, the perspective of that boat. So now we're going to draw this, this beam coming out of the boat, like that. It has a nice angle up there. So we'll work out how far it comes out first. So we get about halfway from here to here, and then maybe a little bit longer. And we'll get that distance, so it's a little bit longer than halfway, and measure it up here. So it's about up to there. So I put a little dot there, I just made it into the page. And we're just going to draw the outline, we're not worrying about all the shapes just yet, all the little details. Okay, and there's something on the end, like that, you don't have to draw that yet. So there's, it's like dividing the boat into four sections. So about halfway, let's put a little dot there. And then in between these two points, another dot there. And then in between these points, about there. So let's take about that width there of the whole boat that we had before. Just with your fingers, you can even do that. And just put a dot here. So when we draw these dots here, above this one, we can just bring it across just ever so slightly like that. And this one, you can see it's an angle there, so make this one shorter, but then it'll be closer this way. Okay, now we have those. If you like, we've got points to, to connect these lines. We're going down, and you can make it a little bit interesting as we come like this, making sure the line is straight from where you're coming from and also aiming the right way. Okay, okay like this. Now we can block in these shapes here. So between these two sails here, we can go up just a bit there, and that's where we see that blue shape. Very loose shapes. Okay, we want to draw that cabin there. So come from the back, just a little bit below where the top of that, that blue sheet is, and then we're coming back like this. Okay, and we're just following the silhouette on the outside. Okay, and then we can bring make that box, so it's about level with where you've got the blue top hole in there, and you come down. Now I've got our people, they're very important, so even though they're small, let's just add those guys in. So this is going to be very impressionistic. This is how I draw really small people. Okay, so we'll just draw the circle here for the head, and then we come down, and we're just following that silhouette of the person. So the head's there, and then you see the arms come out, standing there, and he's bending over a little bit more arm out like this and then he's got his legs now now we're going to do the mass on the top if between here and here we go up about a third a dot there and then we've, within that top section we have about we have three more so we have to divide it into four sections so put a dot halfway between this one and here in the top and then another dot here and another dot there okay so you should have one two three four dots okay so now let's just add a little bit of thickness and then and then the sail shape. Now we've blocked in most of the main shapes. I'm going to go through each section and add some details and then put the ropes on top. Okay, so things like this one, objects do look a lot better when they're in one line when you're sketching like this. And on this one, it's just above halfway, something there. From here, let's draw a single line that goes from there to about here. 
So this is the top of the net line like that, okay? And then we want to add this really nice billowy net. So we're just doing the, the shape of it. And it comes down like that, right? Just an impression of what's happening here. And then we go through it like this. Exhaust ports, whatever they are called. And when we come into the rest of the boat, we've got this thickness, this white section on the, on the side of the boat. So we'll give this thickness here. Try and follow that as best you can, following the top curve. And on the side here, it's in between those two masts, is a platform. And then past this one, right on the end, it's another little one. Let's make up some details in here. So there's all the crew storage under there. And then at the back of the boat, okay, there's a box here, a blue box, and then something there. Okay. And I add lots of little circles like that. And then a nice loopy line like that. You can do this more quickly. Now, one of the most important lines we've got here is this line joining from here to here. So we want to make that not straight. I'm going to give it a bit of a curve, especially down the bottom, a bit of a curve, and then up there. Curving up, we'll make it as it goes down like this, and then down like that, and then down like that. You can do two lines if you like. Go across a little bit and then go back up. Like this. Now, now we're going to follow some other lines that we just see. Okay. We've got to add a few loopy lines like this. We have one, see that point there on the edge of that panel that we drew? Right across the sketch like that. So this one, same here. See that section there? Joining to this middle bit here. Now from this side, where does that go up? I've got the same sort of thing. Just all the lines are overlapping. Okay, I've got my round 12 brush and we are going to add just a tiny bit of background. So I've got cerulean blue. So this is my light blue. Just making sure you don't go too much onto the mass. Okay, really simple. We have Viridian green and we're adding a, a coastline just above the cabin and around the mass. Make sure it's straight. So when we come out here, it should come out the same height like that. Now we need lots of water. And I have a greeny blue, which is called turquoise. So it's still being quite loose here and we're leaving some white gaps there. Come down here, very light and impressionistic. And we're using ultramarine for the boat. So get the ultramarine now. Okay, so what we're doing is just blending that in. And now I'm gonna grab my round 10 brush. If you could get burnt sienna out, so each section should have just a little bit of this, this burnt sienna. Down like this, down, right down to the bottom there, down. Okay, and then the top section here, then skip a bit and then down to this bit. Just do the bottom section of this burnt sienna. Leave the top a bit white. Now I'll go back to my round 12. This is ultramarine, top sheet here that's there. Okay, and then these people, they have nice blue overalls. We can also use this as a light wash going all the way across. So right across and all the way across the sketch. Uh, then get a cadmium red, which is an orange red. I want to make that stand out. So instead of doing an orange, we'll just keep it at like a red, ready orange. We've also got these pipes that have, maybe they give air down to the bottom. Um, I'll go back to my round 10 and we'll choose yellow ochre and that'll be that that cabin back here and then we can add just a subtle bit to these material sections and then burnt sienna anchor got the basic colors in now we're going to add some shadow on top of this ultramarine permanent rose they're a nice purpley color we've got shadows going underneath these 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 poles here it's a little blob like that uh, on the bottom here, we'll add a bit of a shadow there too. On the way like that. All shadow behind there. And then underneath each of these, slap on some shadow just on the edge there like this. And now this is the more defined shadow in the water. Okay, so what we want to do is copy that shape, mirror it down, but make it a bit smaller because we don't have much space in the page. And we, we make these sort of lines. See how you've got like that little 
lines out to about there. So it's a broken, it's a broken edge there. We're going to make our way across like this, okay, like that. So you can see that shadow of this part of the boat, this front part. Some of that leftover paint in the brush. Okay, now we're just going to add some pops of color before we go into highlights. Of saturated red just there. See how it pops out? Now, now saturate a bit of blue, and that also can be here. I'm also going to use it somewhere else. It might be uh, to highlight those platforms there. Bit of the ultramarine there, and we want to add a bit here just just to show that this is the bit um, that bends the most just at the front here. Okay, and then we can splatter this front bit but I might try with some other tool. Let's just see how we go here. We'll go back in with our smaller brush and use the turquoise that we had before because this is dried down here. Now what we're going to do is just add ripples just across this light water. So at the top here, let's make vertical lines that are very, very thin like this. And then as they come here, they'll be a little bit, that'll add to these layers and textures of the water. I want a long, really nice white line across just above this middle line that we have here. So let's do that right to the end, inside that line. Lines like this, make these quick and expressive. Like, it's always good to add some glints and dots because you can see in the reference there are little tiny white dots there. And we can outline the, the these portholes. Now what we can do is add reflections into the water and they cut across into the shadow. And you can see bigger ones, so we can use the side of our pen. So that's how I sketch a boat in a really loose way, using some dots for some structure. I hope that helped. Let me know in the comments and what you think. And if you want to see the full version, uh, consider joining my Patreon, and you can even upload your sketch to the community there where we share our sketches and we encourage each other. And I have a lot more in-depth tutorials there and fundamentals for sketching. So it's a great place to be if you really want to improve your sketching. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.